Now I come to the next pattern, which is the program pattern. Now this is a very important pattern for all of you and part of the Agile Fundamentals course, which we're doing tomorrow. By the way, the first one, piloting it with you all, is going to cover how to do this in detail. But in principle, <coughs> it takes an idea, which is uh, a strategic initiative, a new requirement. It can even be a bug fix. This is just work requirement. <coughs> yeah? And you take it and you discover it and you deliver it. So the discovery pattern is mobilize, understand, explore. And you keep doing this. And here are your management gate checks where the funnel is being managed. Yeah? So these red things is the funnel management. Those are the leaders standing in front of the wall and saying, the team can do only two things. And we have got 15 things waiting. What are we going to do? and try and solve it there. You can get more people, that's the easiest option, but it's normally not the best sometimes. Yeah? You can stop work, you can start work, you can do different things. <clears throat> so, same process. By the way, this process, understand, explore, prototype, evolve, is exactly the same as design thinking. If you look at, how many of you have know a little bit about what's happening with design thinking? The design thinking model, do you recognize that? Understand, explore, prototype, evolve. Exactly the same. So it maps beautifully and the practices will soon get merged. We're working together with design thinking to bring it closer so we can learn together and use it together. <clears throat> so the first thing you do is you take this idea and you make what is called a discovery brief. One page, it will be about, should be about one hour to, to write that down by the person who's initiating it. That's it. Yeah? <clears throat> you take it into this and the discovery cycle is this. This should take maximum one to four days for a multi-million dollar project. I'm talking anything from hundred thousand dollars to uh, you know fifty million even. How is that possible? How long do you think this process takes? This is where the waste is. <clears throat> On average how long do you think from idea till the time you start work? Nine months? Twelve months? Yeah? Feasibility study, more feasibility study, more discussions in corridors, more feasibility study. Work has not even started yet. Is there any cost put together for that? No, there's, nobody is keeping track of that cost. This is where time and money is lost. Not so much in this phase. It's in this phase that's the dangerous phase. And nobody is, is really tracking that. In Agile, five days. That's all you get for that. You go, oh my God, how can you do it in five days? Yeah, you can do it because you're focused on one thing. You're not doing ten things. And the reason you can't do it is because you're, you, you're not focused. <clears throat> and people may say, oh yeah, but we have time to think. We need time. To, we need to think about it. What do you think? They're walking around thinking about it? No, you don't do that. <laughs> you don't think about it. You just put it in the drawer. When the next meeting comes, you pull it out and you go blah, 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 blah. Again, you talk about it. The talking is where the magic happens. That's where you're thinking. That's where you're bouncing when you're sharing things with each other. Yeah? So we're going to put them all in the room together. The key stakeholders, the product owner, the customer, the technical architect, the designer, whatever the requirement is, the process owner. <clears throat> and we're going to look at the first thing. Workshop, sticky notes. What's the problem? Next, what's the outcome? So here's the problem. This is where I want to go. What's in between? What are the big blocks in between? Here, what are the blockers? What is stopping me going from here to there? Put them out. Workshop it. Workshop, facilitate it. <clears throat> what are the pieces of work, the epics and features that you need? They will be identified. Then, only then, we talk about the solution. But how often are people, they come to you and say, we want a CMS system. They tell you the solution up front. <clears throat> and you don't have time to take a step back and say, before you talk about the solution, tell me what is your problem. What are you trying to solve? So we go through that. Then we talk about solutions. Now here we use the Bono's techniques, the six hat technique, to think about different solutions. Not only how do you do 
you know, how do you do this? Also, maybe you create other solution options. You use design thinking to think about what the customer really wants. <clears throat> then you estimate it, you plan it, you cost benefit it. That's round one. So you take this, this is called the cone of uncertainty. When you are here, this could be plus or minus 300% when the idea is there. <clears throat> when do you know the actual cost of the, of the issue, of doing it? When do you know the real cost? At the end, when you've actually done the work. You don't know, it. before that, everything's a guess. Yeah? So what you want to do is, you want to do these discovery workshops, and if the steering committee says, <clears throat> oh, you know, that number is too big, can you do it once more? Take another two days and go down. So 60,000 feet, 30,000 feet, 10,000 feet, couple of days, couple of days, couple of days. Now you get approval for delivery. Does that make sense? But the steering committee might say, yeah, because remember, when you are doing this, <clears throat> in this phase, you're looking at benefits. So supposing I tell you the benefits for this system is $5 million a year. How much will you be willing to spend for it? <clears throat> Give me a number. Imagine it's your money. <clears throat> yeah, $5 million, your money, you are saving a year. <clears throat> What's the maximum you would be willing to pay for the solution? <clears throat> Give me some numbers. How much? 10. OK, so 3 million maximum. Yeah. How much would you be willing to place in? You got to do a net present value based <coughs> on the IRR. Yeah, how much? <laughs> so all fine, all fine. There's one thing that will never let you down. That's that, your gut. People know intrinsically, you go to the shop, you want to buy a shirt, depending on what the shirt is for. If it's for the wedding, yeah, now you're willing to pay maybe 100 euros for it, maybe 200 euros. But if it's just for office, I don't know, how much would you pay? 30 euros? 20 euros? So you know automatically what sort of ballpark. Customers know exactly. So if you say 5 million a year, 3 years, 15 million uh, is total saving, you may want to pay somewhere between 3 million or 10 million. Yeah? It depends on the appetite for the customer. So <clears throat> by doing this exercise, sometimes I've seen many projects come to gate number one and they say, listen, this is not worth it. Take it from the wall, cancel, next one. Because you can only do 10 projects. How much projects are there in the funnel, you think? 20, 30? Demand is always more than supply, so you have to choose. So by doing these quick loops, we're actually reducing it.